Hi, I'm Christine. Welcome to Keep Exploring Kids. On our channel, we are going to share some great videos that help families get together, get outside, and play. We're hoping that you'll join us as we do some story times, create some play experiences, and go on some family adventures together. My husband, my daughter, and I are in this all together, and we hope that your family will join us. If you like our videos, we hope that you'll give us a big thumbs up, hit subscribe, and of course, hit that bell notification so that you're notified every time we post a brand new video. Hey everybody, I hope you had a great weekend. I'm back with another story. Today, our selection is The Big Orange Splot by Daniel Manis Pinkwater. The Big Orange Splot. Mr. Plumbean lived on a street where all the houses were the same. He liked it that way, so did everybody else on Mr. Plumbean Street. This is a neat street, they would say. Then one day, a seagull flew over Mr. Plumbean's house. He was carrying a can of bright orange paint. No one knows why. He dropped the can, no one knows why, right over Mr. Plumbean's house. Uh-oh. It made a big orange splot on Mr. Plumbean's house. <gasps> That's too bad, everybody said. Mr. Plumbean will have to paint his house again. I suppose I will, said Mr. Plumbean. But he didn't paint his house right away. He looked at the big orange splot for a long time. Then he went to about his business. The neighbors got tired of seeing that big orange splot. Someone said, Mr. Plumbean, we wish you'd get around to painting your house. Okay, said Mr. Plumbean. He got some blue paint and some white paint, and that night he got busy. He painted the, at night because it was cooler. When the paint was gone, the roof was blue, the walls were white, and the big orange spot was still there. Then he got some more paint. He got red paint and yellow paint and green paint and purple paint. In the morning, the other people on the street came out of their houses. Their houses were all the same, but Mr. Plumbean's house was like a rainbow. It was like a jungle. It was like an explosion. There were, there was the big orange splot and there were little orange splots and there were stripes. There were pictures of elephants and lions and pretty girls and steam shovels. The people said, Plum Bean has popped his cork, flipped his wig, blown his stack and dropped his stopper. They went away muttering. That day, Mr. Plum Bean bought carpenter's tools. That night, he built a tower on top of the roof, and he painted a clock on the tower. The next day, the people said, Plumbean has gushed his mush, lost his marbles, slipped his hoser. They decided they would pretend not to notice. That very night, Mr. Plumbean got a truck full of green things. He planted palm trees, bow barbs, thorn bushes, onions, and frangipanis. In the morning, he bought a hammock and an alligator. When the other people came out of their houses, they saw Mr. Plumbean swinging in a hammock between two palm trees. They saw an alligator lying in the grass. Mr. Plumbean was drinking lemonade. Hmm, I like lemonade. Mr. Plumbean has gone too far. This used to be a neat street. Mr. Plumbean, what have you done to your house? People shouted. This is my, this house is me, and I'm it. My house is where I like to be, and it looks like all my dreams, Mr. Plumbean said. The people went away. They asked the man who lived next door to Mr. Plumbean to go and have a talk with him. Tell him that we all liked it here before he changed his house. Tell him that his house has to be the same as ours, so we can have a neat street. The man went to see Mr. Plumbean that evening. They sat under the palm trees, drinking lemonade, and talking all night long. Early the next morning, the man went out to get lumber and rope and nails and paint. And when the people came out of their houses, they saw a red and yellow ship next door to the house of Mr. Plumbean. Huh. What have you done to your house? They shouted at the man. My house is me, and I am it. My house is where I like to be. And it looks like all my dreams, said the man, who had always loved ships. 
He's just like Plumby, said the people. He's got bees in his bonnet, bats in his belfry, and knots in his noodle. Then one day by one, they went to see Mr. Plumby late at night. They would sit under the palm trees and drink lemonade and talk about their dreams. And whenever anybody visited Mr. Plumbean's house, the very next day, that person would set about changing his own house to fit his dreams. Whenever a stranger came to the street of Mr. Plumbean and his neighbors, the stranger would say, this is not a neat street. Then all the people would say, our street is us and we are it. Our street is where we like to be and looks like all our dreams. What are your dreams? Have you ever really sat and thought about what you'd like out of life or what you wish could be what was happening? I have a challenge for you. Go and find an old box. Could look like this one. Just an Amazon box or a packing box or a package, a, a box that a Christmas present came in or a Hanukkah present or any other kind of present. Grab some markers, some crayons, some paints, whatever you've got around the house and see if you can be creative like Mr. Plumbean and turn your box into something that represents your dreams. I hope you have a great time with this project and that you enjoyed our story, and we'll see you another day. Bye. When you've got your creation finished and you've got a box that shows your dreams, I want you to take a picture and post it on Facebook. Hashtag the big orange splut and show us your box creations that show your dream inspired by today's story. Have a great day. Keep exploring, kids.